This is John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do today is another one of my famous juice off comparison tests where we're going to go ahead and compare two juicers side by side to let you guys know the differences so you guys can learn and find the right juicer for you. That's the most important thing to me, that you guys get the right juicer and you get it the first time. And of course, I hope that you guys buy it from DiscountJuicers.com which supports me and my work to educate people about the power of fruits and vegetables and also allows me to continue to make these valuable YouTube videos where you guys get to learn about the juicers and actually not just learn about them but actually see how they totally work when I juice the same amount of produce in each one. So if you guys like these videos, want me to do more and uh, you know uh, appreciate my work, please make your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to continue to do this work. I want to thank you guys in advance for those of you guys that will purchase from me and I want to thank you guys that have purchased from me in the past. In any case, uh, today's juice off comparison, we're going to be comparing two juicers and uh, over on this side we got the Champion 4000 juicer. This is a new release, new for 2016. The Champion juicer has been made in the US for over 40 years now, the standard uh, 2000 model that have the metal body and now they have a nice plastic more compact body but it's still nice and heavy I do like that they actually added the handle to it um, but this machine is probably the only juicer in its price range still made in America other juicers that are still made in America are like uh, $2,500 <laughs> so that's pretty nice so if you're looking for a juicer in America this is it and this is known as a masticating juicer over on this side what we have is the Green Star Elite and some juicing companies get the term masticating mixed up with the term slow juicer, in my opinion. Uh, you know, many people call any kind of slow juicer a masticating juicer, but that's not totally true. You know, go back to your Venn diagrams, right? <laughs> but the thing for me is this, the Champion is the only true masticating juicer on the market. It actually works by chewing up the produce and at the same time it's chewing, it's actually extracting the juice and it spits it out. Uh, the Green Star Elite, on the other hand, is a cold press slow juicer which works with twin gears. So it's a twin gear cold press juicer, which in my opinion is much better technology. While the Champion has been out for over 40 years now in America, the technology that it uses hasn't really changed much. In the new 4000 model, they've updated it. It has a lot more screen area, a little bit different auger shape, but it's still basically the same thing. So they didn't really make any major improvements in my opinion. Whereas the Green Star Elite technology, you know, this is newer technology. It came out in the 1990s and this is the latest uh, version of that technology where it uses two gears to literally uh, grind, mix, and squeeze the juice out of the produce that you're putting in there. So with that, let's get into comparing both these machines. First, some of the things that you're not able to see. Number one, most important thing to me when you're buying an expensive juicer like one of these guys is the warranty. You want to be assured that when you're putting and plugging your money down, your hard-earned money, that you're going to be juicing for quite a while without any problems. And that's why a warranty is so important. If you go to your local big box store, and just buy an inexpensive juicer, you know, may have a short 90 day or one year warranty. I'm glad to say that the Champion Juicer 4000 made in America has a five year warranty on the machine, but over on the Green Star Elite actually, which is made in Korea, which is also known for its high quality juicers, has a full 12 year warranty on this machine. So that's over twice the warranty. So you're going to be guaranteed for the next 12 years that there will be no manufacturer's defects and if any parts break due to no fault of your own, it will be covered under warranty. I've gotten a lot of feedback on warranty service from the Tribest company which manufactures the Green Star Elite. Actually I've been to the factory where the Green Star Elite is manufactured so check the link down below if I remember to put a link to see how this machine is made. It was really cool when I went to Korea. Um, over on this side, I haven't had a lot of feedback with the Champion customer service, but I've never had any problems or any complaints about it. So I could only assume that it's uh, definitely good. So uh, with that, 
Let's talk about some of the other things. Let's talk about the feed shoot size. So over on the champion juicer here, you can see we have a funnel here and that kind of denotes the feed shoot size. The feed shoot size over on the champion is a two and a quarter inches. And then over on the green star elite, it's a smaller. So it's actually a one and a half inches uh, diameter uh, square. And the champion is a two and a quarter inch a diameter circle that actually kind of gets reduced down into like a two inch. So that's going to make uh, feeding produce a little bit easier in the champion. You don't have to cut it as small as in the Green Star Elite. Uh, next, I guess let's go ahead and take this juicer apart since I started taking this apart. Both these machines are very simple and easy to take apart. You just kind of need to learn how to do it the first time, maybe a second time, and then you could do it like almost with your eyes closed. Uh, this machine you basically pull off this top housing and then you're going to go ahead and uh, release these little latches. There's one on this side, one on this side and then you could uh, pull some of the assemblies apart on here. With the champion all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and turn this whole assembly, the body assembly and then it actually rotates and then you're going to go ahead and pull it off. Uh, once this piece is out then you're going to go ahead and pull uh, take this part off which is actually known as the outlet adjusting knob which is a pretty much non-adjustable you just basically put it on there and it keeps some back pressure and keeps the produce inside the machine until it gets wrung out and then it finally lets it out then you can push on this piece which then takes the uh, screen housing out and this is the uh, stainless steel screen on the champion over to the green star elite this last uh, part here is known as the outlet adjusting knob and actually this is actually adjustable whereas on the champion it's uh, fixed so this is nice it gives you further flexibility when juicing certain produce items so for example if you're juicing uh, carrots or wheatgrass or other hard vegetables celery you want to screw this all the way in all the way tight uh, because there is a spring tension on this this uh, always keeps the uh, outlet adjusting knob pushed fully in to uh, block the produce from coming out until it's built up enough pressure to uh, push in the spring right here which is actually quite uh, hard um, and then it finally lets the pulp out when it's totally dry so this is a little bit more efficient uh, than the one on the champion now the challenge you may arise with this is when you're juicing a high percentage of fruits or all fruits in the green star elite uh, generally I don't recommend a uh, you know uh, twin gear juicer for juicing mostly fruits. This juicer is best for juicing mostly hard vegetables as well as leafy greens. Uh, but if you're juicing fruits, then you can get the fruit attachment, which is basically has a softer spring rate, or you could save your money and you could actually just put this, uh, this regular attachment in and then just screw it in maybe like halfway to only leave a little bit of a um, port so that if you come out without having to push the spring tension, Sometimes you might actually even have to screw it out uh, three quarters of the way. And in some cases, in some fruits, you may just have to take it off altogether. You may not need it because fruits are so soft and they're uh, juiced relatively much easier. And if you have back pressure on it, it may cause the uh, fruit to back up inside the machine. I must say that the uh, Champion, there are definitely less parts to clean and less nooks and crannies to clean than the Green Star Elite. But let's go ahead and compare some of the parts. Uh, so this is the juicing screen on the Green Star Elite. It's actually uh, kind of a rectangular here. And it has actually nice, fine, small holes. And here's the juicing screen on the Champion. Uh, it appears to me that the juicing screen on the Green Star Elite has more surface area. So this means two things. It means, number one, there's more opportunity for juice to come out of this screen. And number two, it means there's more screen area for y'all to clean when you're done. <laughs> so that being said, I would say probably the champion screen a little bit easier to clean just because there's less area. That being said, it's kind of a, you know, a cone or a conical shape going to be a little bit more difficult to get in there, get the cleaning brush in there to clean it out as you could mostly only do it from one end. Whereas the uh, green star elite, you could get in there from both sides and the green star elite is now including a special a scraper tool to help get your screen clean faster. So I do like that a lot. Next, next, let's take a look at the technology that actually juices the produce you put in. Over on the uh, champion side, we're going to go ahead and pull off this auger. And basically on this auger, which is a single auger 
this has some stainless steel grinding teeth and uh, this spins around at high speed 1725 revolutions per minute and basically just as you put produce in there it's literally ground up or shredded up with these teeth at high speed um, especially if your teeth go dull on your champion then your machine is not going to be as efficient and it's actually going to warm up on you a little bit so I do recommend you guys change these blades out every once in a while uh, and it of course depends on your use after the pulp is ground up then it is sent on into this worm gear style situation which then basically uh, compresses down the pulp into a smaller and smaller area and then the juice is squeezed out which then uh, comes out the holes in the juicing screen finally when it gets to the end the pulp then comes out the front of the machine now I do need to say that on the champion you know you will need to lube up this uh, shaft over here after every use um, that's just the way it's designed. I like to put some coconut oil on there. Otherwise, your cutting blade may get stuck on the machine, which is not a fun thing uh, to try to fix. So I do recommend lubing it up. Over on the Green Star Elite, you actually don't have that problem. You don't have to lube up any kind of shafts or anything like that before you use it or when you're done using it. And there are never any uh, teeth that will get dull on the Green Star Elite. Basically, what you have in here are two twin gears. And these uh, twin gears, they basically uh, roll around like, uh, you know, gears inside a transmission in a car. And as they roll around, they have, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't really call them teeth, but they have some little edges that are a little bit sharp, not really sharp. You can't really cut yourself on them unless you maybe tried really, really, really hard. But you basically put the produce into it and then it basically grinds off and nibbles off a little piece of produce at a time. And then it sends it through the gears where it's literally crushed. Uh, ground up, mixed, and then squeezed at this part of the gear. So this is a, literally, this is a grinding and pressing, and this is actually, in this stage, this is a grinding, and then this part of the gear, it actually has a kind of a soft, uh, 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 on the plastic, it's kind of like, a, not, not quite as uh, sharp. It's kind of a mixing set, and then over to the last stage, this is where it's a pressing. So it's grinding, mixing, pressing. This is just grinding and pressing. So uh, they incorporated this mixing step into the Green Star Elite so it'd be more similar to the $2,500 uh, two-stage hydraulic presses that you have a basically a grinding stage, a mixing stage as it's sitting in the bag before pressing, and then a pressing stage. So, you know, this machine, based on the research I've seen and based on my opinions, makes the highest quality juice and the champion, of the, on the other hand, makes a lower quality juice, right? I believe that slow juicers running at a lower RPM do less oxidative damage to the juice or introducing less air into the juice, which will break down some of the vi valuable phytochemicals and phytonutrients. And that's why, you know, on the thing like the champion with the running at a high RPM, you know, I'm not a super huge fan. I personally prefer the slow juicers such as the Green Star Elite that runs at 110 revolutions per minute. Also, there's these uh, basically uh, pockets in the gears which actually act as teeth and will grind up stalks of celery and other stringy leafy greens like kale stems, collard stems, Swiss chard stems that you put in here. So when you put in a whole celery that you don't need to do any cutting with uh, of, you could put it in there. This is going to grind it up and spit out little small celery strands. Over on the Champion, it's a little bit different story. On the Champion, if you put celery in with this gear, the strings may actually wrap around the blade. Um, it's similar with other uh, kales and other leafy greens like the collard greens and the Swiss chards. So they actually give you a different gear or a green gear that actually doesn't have the teeth that has more of a, just an auger to juice the greens. Unfortunately, in one of my other juicing tests, I've used that other gear, the green gear, to juice greens, and it actually didn't really perform that well to extract a high yield. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Champion. If you want to juice mostly greens myself, I would definitely, you know, or rather get the Green Star Elite. But if you're juicing mostly straight greens without hard uh, vegetables, then I would recommend something like the Solo Star 4 which is the uh, brother of the Green Star, and it's a single auger juicer that's best for juicing mostly leafy greens. This is best for juicing mostly hard vegetables with leafy greens, in my opinion. 
Last part to come out is this uh, body housing here that basically just holds the gear and it has the feed sheet in there. On both these machines, once you're done juicing, uh, there will be all kinds of uh, pulp and juice all around the area of where the motor shafts are. So you're just going to have to take a, I like to take like a spray bottle and spray out uh, with some water. Don't like blast water because you don't want to get water like into the machine. But I just spray it out with a spray bottle and then use like a little brush to brush it out. And that's the extent of the cleaning. Yeah, the cleaning will definitely take some time on the Green Star Elite. Uh, because of all the different nooks and crannies and all the different parts there are. Uh, next I want to show you guys how to reassemble both machines. This is very important to pay attention to. You're going to take the housing on the Green Star Elite, uh, put that right on. Then you're going to take your gears. Very important on the gears, you're going to basically rotate the gears and there's uh, two dots on this gear and there's one dot on this gear. You want the dots to be lined up so you want to put the one dot in between the two dots. You guys probably can't see that on the video but it makes like a little triangle and then you're gonna go ahead and insert these gears and you might have to like rotate this to uh, get it fully seated in there then it will then you're gonna go ahead and take your screen and the green star elite comes with a, a fine screen uh, for getting mini minimal pulp out also includes a core screen if you want more pulp in your juice or for juicing things like uh, fruits it also includes a blank which allows you to make the frozen fruit sorbets and nut butters and do grinding. Um, so you're going to go ahead and put this baby on. And then finally you're going to go ahead and put this uh, outlet casing on. Slides right over. Then you're going to go ahead and put these latch arms on and uh, latch this back. Finally, we want to make sure we got our outlet adjusting knob. We put that in there and we screw it all the way to tighten. And it's tight. And then we're going to go ahead and put our uh, top housing on. Over the Champion, it's a little bit easier to assemble than that. You're going to take your auger, and the auger has one side, which is the flat side, which goes on the flat side of the motor shaft here. So I just happen to line it up. Sometimes you want to spin it and line it up. Then we're going to take the uh, main housing here, and we're going to take our screen. Uh, this side with the hole kind of goes up, and it lines up with the, uh, the feed chute. And slide that all the way forward until it comes out. And then you're going to go ahead and take your black, uh, piece which is the uh, end cap and then you're going to line that up and then it uh, basically just uh, slides on let's see if we could line this up here and then you just uh, turn it to lock and then it's locked into place and this goes over the auger and uh, slide that back and then slide it upright and you're all ready to go now the Champion does not include a coarse screen with it. I don't believe it's available for this model. On their previous model, it was available. And then also, they do have a blank plate. So comparing using the blank plate on the Champion and the blank plate on the Green Star, there's pros and cons to each. I actually like that the Champion, uh, when you're using the blank plate, runs at a high RPM, especially when you're putting frozen fruits and frozen um, bananas through there it actually makes a nice fluffy consistency because it actually injects air as it's working which is really cool because you have a nice fluffy ice cream when processing nuts because it is running at a high rpm it does generate some heat which then helps to get your nut butters to kind of stick together a little bit better and if it doesn't it'll come out and then you actually just put it back and run it back through a couple times you'll get a really nice consistency because the heat and the high speed helps to kind of get some of the oils out of the nuts. Over on the Green Star Elite, when you're processing bananas, you know, it doesn't fluff it on up. It's a bit more hard pack for you. So this is actually not going to melt as quickly. But in my opinion, the mouthfeel is not quite as good as a champion because it's actually fluffed up with air. Uh, while the fluffing up with the air, in my opinion, is a good thing because of the mouthfeel on the banana ice cream, which is going to melt fast anyway, and you should be eating it quickly. It's a bad thing, in my opinion, when juicing because it's probably introducing more oxygen uh, to the juice than necessary which is causing oxidative damage which is lowering the nutritional content um, over on to the nut butters on the green star elite uh, you know on roasted nuts it actually does a fairly good job um, but on the raw nuts when you put those into the green star elite it's so powerful and because it's running at a low rpm it basically turns nuts into nut flour <laughs> and it doesn't really get it to congeal together in many cases so you may have to add some kind of uh, oil uh, to your nut butters to get them to stick together or take the output and the nut flour 
and run it back through again and again and again. And then finally, it'll start to work and it'll start to congeal. That being said, neither of these machines will really get nut butters like they get, like you could buy in the store because those are processed with high power machines that really grind up and fractionate the nuts. This will get you a nut butter that's spreadable if you run it back through a couple times. And of course, it depends on the nuts you're using. Roasted nuts generally always work better than uh, the raw nuts. So yeah, that's the basically the overview of these two machines. Maybe let's go for the weight next and the sound level. So this guy, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit heavier than the champion, but the champion, well, I, actually, you know what? I don't know. These guys are both pretty doggone heavy. The champion has a really nice stout motor. Green Star Elite's also pretty heavy, you know, if you're feeble and, and can't maybe lift things up too well and you're going to have to be moving your juicer a lot, you might not want to get either of these machines. They're pretty close to being the same weight. The other thing I want to talk about is the noise level. I know this is important for some people that have thin paper walls between their neighbors, you know, or have people sleeping when you're juicing in the morning. So let's go ahead first and turn on the Champions. You guys can hear that running without any produce going through it. Uh, once again, it runs at 1,725 RPMs or revolutions per minute. So you know that has a nice uh, motor hum, really smooth though. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on the Green Star Elite. Actually, you know what? They sound fairly similar uh, overall, just running them pretty empty. But that'll change a little bit, you know, once we start using them. So another feature of the Green Star Elite that I want to go over before we get actually get into the juice off comparison part of this episode is actually the twin gears that I showed you guys earlier. Um, this machine has a special technology that no other machine on the market has. And what it is is inside the twin gears, um, in the middle of it, there's like a little strong magnet. So I don't know if I have anything here magnetic, but it's a really strong magnet that they have in the middle of the gear. And in addition, around that magnet, they have a far infrared uh, powder. And so what they say, what the manufacturer says, the magnets basically structure, help to structure your juice. So you get a greater uptake of the nutrients in the juice and the far infrared I don't know exactly what that does, but the magnets and far infrared work together to give you guys a higher quality juice that will stay stable and last up to three days or 72 hours in the fridge with minimal degradation. So that's very important. You know, if you want to save your juices, I do encourage you guys to get the Green Star Elite. If you want the highest quality juice of any juicer, including the hydraulic presses, I do encourage you guys to get this machine because it will produce a higher quality juice. And on certain nutrients over even a press and it's going to store better and this is based on a testing that the Tribest company has done. Over on the Champion, you know, they don't have this technology and furthermore this runs at a higher RPM so I do not recommend you store the juice that you make with the Champion. If you store it at all, maybe up to 24 hours in the fridge but still I always encourage you guys no matter what juicer you use to juice the produce right after you make it. Um, and drink the juice right after you make it for the highest health benefit. All right, next we're gonna come back at you and get these guys set up for juicing. And we're gonna go ahead and juice about uh, three pounds of carrots in each machine to see which juicer will reign supreme in this juice off. So now we're set up, all ready to juice. In a second, we're gonna go ahead and do a weigh-in so you guys can see that we have an even weight of carrots uh, for juicing in both machines. I do wanna mention that the Green Star Elite does come with a glass collection cup which is actually quite nice. It also comes with a sieve to strain your juice if you don't want the excess pulp in there. Over on the Champion, it actually comes with a BPA-free plastic collection cup as well as a sieve to take out some of the extra pulp if it's unwanted. In any case, what I got here is I got uh, nearly three over three pounds of organic carrots. I like to get the organic carrots at my local warehouse club store such as Costco, where they tend to be the cheapest. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the weigh-in to prove that we got a fair fight. All right, so we got two measuring cups full of organic carrots. They've been washed, topped, and bottomed. So I just cut off the top and the bottom and brushed them down. And over on the champion side, looks like we got a 498 ounces of carrots and over on the green star elite side 
Looks like we got 49.8 ounces of organic carrots all ready to be juiced. There's a close-up showing both weights at the same time. So now that you guys saw that we have a fair fight, let's go ahead and uh, move these carrots to the side. Move these scales out the way and we're going to get into the juicing. Now one of the things I really like to do for you guys when I'm doing these juice off comparisons is actually um, use a stopwatch on my phone so you guys could actually see how long it takes to juice in each machine, right? That's very important because I know a lot of you guys are really busy and you want to spend the minimal amount, a mi minimal amount of time possible to make your juice and to uh, have it and drink it. So uh, both these machines will take some time to juice. There are also, of course, faster um, machines on the market to use and slower machines on the market. And as much as speed should be a consideration when you buy a juicer, you should also take other considerations in uh, to your selection process as well, such as how much yield is it making? How high is the produce or the nutritional quality of the produce it's juicing? How long does it take to clean? How much does it cost? How long is the warranty? And that's what I try to cover for you guys in this episode. In any case, on both these machines, you will need to use the pusher to push the produce in the machine. I do not uh, ever uh, encourage you guys to use anything else than the pushers that come with the machines uh, to push the produce in because it may cause damage to the item being put into the machine or the machine itself. So the Green Star Elite comes with two pushers, a plastic one and a wooden one. I prefer the wooden pusher myself. The wooden pusher will actually get in contact with the gears, but it generally doesn't get graded down too much. And if it does, this is a food grade quality wood, all natural. That's just basically going to come out with a pulp if it does. Over on the Champion, it just has a standard of plastic pusher. Uh, one side is meant for uh, greens and the other side is meant for grinding. So we're going to go ahead and flip that over and make sure we use the grinding side. I think first I'm going to go ahead and juice in the champion juicer because I think that's going to go a bit faster for me. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, set the timer down so you guys can see it. And we're going to go ahead and hit the start button and we're going to go ahead and get juicing. What I thought I'd do for you guys today is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on and then we're going to go ahead and blow this up into high speed mode so you can just see me juicing everything, see how it goes, and then we'll come back at you, uh, you know, with uh, my assessment of the juicing process. All right, let's go ahead. Turn this machine on, and we're going to go ahead and grab one carrot at a time and put it in. I'm going to go ahead and put the small one in first. It kind of grinds up. It kind of comes back up to shoot. But we're just going to go ahead and push it all the way in, and it's really spitting some produce out at high velocity. Oh, and there's a, another piece that actually I'm supposed to put over this to prevent that from shooting out at high velocity. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to juice here. Alright, so I think I'm down to my last carrot in the Champion. It's been actually uh, juicing fairly well. It does kick out the produce fairly quickly. I did forget to put on a piece there. But basically you get some uh, kickback, it kicks it up, so you just got to push it down. Let's go ahead and push this last carrot in there. And uh, once you put that last carrot in, you're going to want to try to go up and down a little bit just to get the last bit of pulp and make sure everything gets juiced. Uh, this has worked uh, fairly well in the Champion. Let's go ahead and turn that baby off and see what time we're at. We're at uh, 2 minutes and uh, 20 seconds, I think, is uh, when we were, when we finished. So let's go ahead and reset that. As you guys can see, we made a lot of pulp and it kind of like blew it up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and kind of compress this down over to one side uh, since we're going to go ahead and use the same bowl to collect the pulp in the Green Star Elite. All right, so next we're going to be juicing in the Green Star Elite. And based on my experience, it's going to take a bit more time. But before we do, I want to let you guys know like I should have included this part on the Champion 4000. It basically just goes over this... Uh, spout here on the end so basically deflex the produce as it comes out down instead of shooting it out at high speed um, I have this in a different location than the juicer because I don't normally use this machine at all unless I'm doing a juice off comparison like this and their previous model didn't have this attachment part and it didn't need it so I had forgotten about that but I want to let you guys know that it's not going to make as much of a mess and spit out the pulp 
that fast like you saw it do for me. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up this uh, stopwatch and we'll be back at you uh, to juice in the Green Star Elite. Alright, so we're all set up, ready to juice in the Green Star Elite. Once again, we're going to go ahead and hit the start button and we're going to turn this machine on and start juicing. Once again, in the Green Star Elite, we're going to take the carrot and I like to put the small end in first. We're going to push that in there and take the pusher and push it down at a slow and even rate. Now the thing I want to say is that, you know, it does take some downward force to push the carrots in the machine, especially the carrots that have a nice wide diameter in there. You always want to make sure they fit in before you put it in there, otherwise they're going to get stuck on you. So if you're feeble, don't have a lot of arm strength or uh, hand grip strength where you got to grip this and push it in, the Champion may be a better option for you. That being said, there are other juicers that are more auto-feeding where you actually don't have to push things in at all, such as the uh, vertical single auger juicers. The one by Tribest, actually known as the Slow Star, that does an amazing job on carrots and actually you just set the carrot in there like this and it just chunks off and auto feeds. That's a feature that I personally really like a lot. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, push uh, these carrots one at a time in through the Green Star Leap and we're going to come back at you uh, when I'm done. Alright, so we're down to our last carrot in the Green Star Elite. It's all been uh, fairly easy, except for one carrot that was a little bit too wide of a diameter, and I'm like, I could make it fit. It didn't quite fit in, and then it was a bit more challenging for me to um, push it in. So if you have any wide, fat diameter carrots, I do encourage you guys to pre-cut it before putting it into the machine. Anyway, that was the last carrot that went in there. Looks like we're all done. Especially on a slow juicer like this, you don't want to turn the machine right off after you uh, have put the last produce item in. You want to wait until basically the pulp stops flowing out, which it looks like it did, and then there's no major uh, juice coming out either. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off, look at the time. We got uh, 4 minutes and 30 seconds approximately. So it took about a minute and 10 seconds longer. Uh, in the green star lead to juice the same volume of carrots than in the champion. Next, what I want to do is actually show you guys the pulp here. So all the pulp from the champion is over on this side and it's just uh, oxidizing because it has been sitting out a little bit plus it's also been exposed to you know uh, some uh, oxygen as it was juicing at a higher speed. The pulp over on the green star lead side is on this side. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. I don't know if you guys can see the color difference in the HD camera today. But now I want to pick up the produce and uh, squeeze it with my hand. This is a test I like to do a lot to see like how efficient the juicers are. You know, and the thing I want to say is this, like no juicer is 100% efficient at juicing everything. Some juicer, some juicers will leave some nutrients in the fiber no matter what juicer it is. And of course, some are better than others. And of course, it's best to match the produce you're juicing with the kind of juicer that you're getting. So some certain kinds of juicers will do better or worse on certain produce items. So for example, Green Star Elite, you know, carrots, hard vegetables, amazing job. Leafy Greens is a really solid job. Fruits, not so good. You'd want to maybe get a vertical juicer. The Champion, I mean, it's pretty good all around. And based on my testing, it just haven't, hasn't, the 4000 model anyways, hasn't gotten a really high yield on anything that I've thrown in there so far. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pick up the pulp, nice big handful from the Green Star Elite and squeeze it and show you guys if we could get any, uh, any juice out. So I'm squeezing this. As you guys can see, I'm squeezing the pulp out and I have pulp dropping, but I have some juice just starting to form between the cracks of my hands. Oh, I got one drop of juice out. This is some pretty uh, dry pulp. Next, let's go ahead over to, uh, to the champion side. Grab the pulp instantly when I pick it up. I feel that it's a lot wetter. Let's go ahead and squeeze this for you guys. Wow, squeezing out a lot more juice. So you can clearly see that the pulp in the Green Star Elite was uh, more efficient than the Champion, or uh, drier. Now the thing I want to say is that I juiced 100% uh, carrots in this episode. And if you are juicing multiple produce items, so carrots, celery, leafy greens, and apple, you don't want to just put all the carrots in, then all the apple in, then all the leafy greens in. You want to put a little bit of each in. So put a little bit of apple. I like to start with the smaller, softest things first. Put in a little bit of apple. 
put some of the greens in and I like on the green star leaf that it's actually auto feeding on the greens. It literally sucks the greens out of your hand if you put it in between the twin gear. Then put a little carrot in and then repeat the process. You know, start with the apple, uh, the green, some celery, then the carrot and just keep repeating those a little bit of each one until you're done. The juicer's going to work a lot better than feeding all the carrots, then all the apples, then all the this, and then all the that, right? The other hint I want to give you, and actually that tip works on all juicers, I would recommend this. And the other tip I want to give you guys is that once you're done, depending on the juicer you're getting, you could always take the pulp and actually feed it back through the machine for greater yield. And depending on the juicer you get, this will work either really well, and you'll get actually a good volume of juice, or maybe not so well. So actually both these machines, you could actually take the pulp and feed it back through. In the case of the Champion, you know, it's going to, you know, press out some more juice out of that pulp. Um, it's still not going to get the pulp maybe super dry. And on the Green Star Elite, it's going to do a significantly better job of taking even the Champion pulp that I might even do at the end of this video, because there's a lot of juice left in my opinion. Uh, run it back through the machine, press it through, and it's going to take some time to do this, but you'll be rewarded with a higher yield. I guess the last thing I like to do is we're going to go ahead and get out two identical measuring cups with uh, sieves and strain each juice out to show you guys which juicer made more pulp in the juice, but then more importantly, which juicer made more juice. So now we have two identical Pyrex measuring cups, and we're going to go ahead and measure the yields that both these juicers created, but we're not just going to pour the juice from the collection cups of the juicers into these measuring cups because then we may have an unfair fight because one juicer or the other may put more pulp in your juice. And I know that's a concern for some of you guys that you guys don't want any pulp in your juice. And unless you're doing a two-stage hydraulic press, all juicers will leave some level of pulp in your juice. Now I want to stop there for a second and clear up some confusion. When I say pulp, I mean the insoluble fiber that is ejected from the machine, right? Uh, there's two kinds of fiber that's been classified at this time. There's insoluble and there's soluble fiber. So I want to say, you know, some people say, John, you juice carrots, man, they're high in sugar. You're now going to have, you know, like a really, really big sugar load when you drink that juice because you removed all the fiber. Well, I want to correct you guys on that, actually. I removed, on the carrots anyways, approximately 50% of the fiber, 50% of the insoluble fiber that came out as it juiced. Uh, the soluble fiber, soluble means dissolves in water, and uh, the soluble fiber is still within the carrot juice, and it's this soluble fiber that may help to regulate the absorption of the sugar into your bloodstream and absorbed by your body. In addition, there are phytochemicals and phytonutrients in the carrot juice and other fruits and vegetables that may also slow down the absorption of the sugar. Now, you know, basically what I'm going to say is this, you know, Making some fresh carrot juice, although it has some sugar in there, the other things that it has is amazing. It has structured water. Very important. People are drinking these tap waters and waters with all kinds of who knows what in there. The water in the carrot juice is filtered by the plant, right? Besides the water, it also has the vitamins, right? We need these vitamins. We know that there's like a beta carotene in there, or pro-vitamin A, it's good for our eyes as well as other things. There's also trace minerals and minerals in there, you know. Our bodies require minerals for many different functions for us to exist. And if we're eating highly processed foods, a lot of those white foods, junk foods, have a lot of the nutrients such as these processed out. In addition, probably some of the most important nutrients in the juices that I'm making are the uh, beneficial phytonutrients and phytochemicals, including polyphenols and antioxidants and all the discovered and yet undiscovered nutrients in the carrot juice, right? And if you drink a soda with, that has sugar in it, and comparing a juice to soda is totally not accurate, because although there's sugar in this one, there's so many other things in a whole nature's packaging, except for the insoluble fiber that you removed. Of course, if you want some of the extra fiber, take some of the fiber out of the pulp catch bin and mix it in your juice. <laughs> and drink it. You know, that's not a big problem. That's going to be, you know, some people might want to do that. I don't particularly like to do that, and that's why I'm going to strain my juice today. So we got uh, two identical uh, sieves. We're going to go ahead and put these in uh, the collection cups. And first, we're going to go ahead and take the champion uh, 
juice that was produced and we're going to go ahead and pour this in and as I'm pouring it in I'm seeing actually a lot of fine uh, pulp come out actually and it's a good thing I used a small whole sieve today because it's actually catching a lot of pulp so actually the uh, the amount of juice that was made in the champion was uh, you know over over inflated uh, fairly well let's go ahead and uh, shake this down all right, pull up, you're being shaken down. Give me all your money. I mean, wait, all your juice. All right. <laughs> oh, we got a pulp overflow here. All right, that's pretty well shaken down. All right, next, let's go ahead and take the juice from the Green Star Elite over here. I think this made more juice. Let's go ahead and pour this carefully in to the sieve. All right, so as I'm pouring it in, there's definitely some fine particulate in there, but it's significantly less than on the Champion. I will be showing you guys this in just a quick minute. All right, let's go ahead and shake this sieve down. Shake this down one last time for you guys. All right, so now I want to show you guys the pulp that each one of these juicers produced in with the juice. And this is the uh, insoluble fiber that you could just drink, you know, no big problem in doing that if you, if you prefer. Or, of course, both juicers include uh, sieves so you could die, guys could strain it out. But uh, this is what it looks like here. Uh, the pulp in the Green Star Lead on this side, the pulp in the Champion on this this side. And, you know, uh, just from rough F estimate, I would say it produced about twice the amount of pulp in the Champion juice, which will artif artificially inflate the yield. Also give you more uh, fiber uh, to drink if you like it. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside over here. And the Green Star Lead produced about half as much uh, fiber. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how much juice this yielded. We're going to go ahead and do a close-up shot for you. All right, so let's go ahead and give you guys a close-up on the yield. So over on the Champion 4000 juicer side, looks like in our measuring cup here, looks like we got uh, just under uh, 12 ounces of juice right there, maybe 11 ounces or so. And then moving over to the Green Star Elite, wow, look at that, definitely made more juice and that made approximately uh, 20 ounces of juice right there it's pretty solid and now let's go ahead and back that up to show you guys the uh, comparison of the two so as you guys just saw the champion made approximately 11 ounces of juice and the green star elite 5000 made approximately 20 ounces of juice uh, according to my calculations that's about 45 percent more juice in the Green Star Elite. Now the Green Star Elite juicer does cost more than the Champion, but basically by making 45% more juice each time, you're going to save money, especially when buying organic produce that could get quite expensive. You know, pretty much no other single stage or single step juicer could beat the Green Star Elite when juicing the carrots at getting a high yield, but more importantly also very high nutritional quality of the juice. Next, what I want to do is actually taste each of these juices to see if I can discern a noticeable taste difference. I mean, sometimes I can, sometimes I can. Once we strain this out, though, this juice is really nice. No insoluble fiber in there. All right, that carrot juice tastes like carrot juice. Not super sweet. I mean, just kind of tastes all right. Let's go ahead and try the Green Star Elite juice next. I mean, I can't really say it tastes too much different. It tastes pretty similar. I mean, I, I might say like the Green Star Elite one tastes a slight tad bit different uh, or maybe better. Maybe this is due to the less oxidative damage because it's running at a lower RPM. But overall, 
I mean, it just tastes like... Tastes like carrot juice. I don't really know what else to say about it. But yeah, that was pretty much today's juice off for you guys. So I guess at the end of every juice off, I declare a winner of the juice off. And in this comparison test, I'm going to have to straight up declare the winner, the Green Star Elite. Not only did it make 45% more juice, so finally at the end of this juice off, I'm going to have to declare a winner of this juice off, and I'm going to have to declare the winner of this juice off, the Green Star Elite. Not only does the machine have a 7 year longer warranty, so a full 12 years instead of the 5, not only did it make 45% more juice than the Champion, but it also makes a higher quality juice according to the uh, research and testing that the company has done and I definitely believe it. Of course the Green Star Elite will take you a little bit longer to clean than the Champion but I believe the money you'll save in the less produce you'll be using over time is going to make up for it. plus especially if you have any kind of um, you know uh, health challenge that you're working with I always encourage, encourage you guys to get something like the Green Star Elite that's going to produce the highest nutritional quality because you want to have every possible advantage in your favor uh, when dealing with uh, difficult health situations. I guess uh, with that, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I would encourage you to support me and my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com so I can continue to make uh, videos like this. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes I have coming out about every uh, five to seven days on this YouTube channel. You never know what two juicers I'll be comparing or what you'll be uh, seeing on my YouTube channel. Also be sure to click that like button right down below. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this video. I'll do more videos with these two machines in the future. And also be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. I have over 450 episodes on this YouTube channel demonstrating and comparing all the different styles of juicers so that you guys can get the right juicer for you. And if you're interested in purchasing the Green Star Elite Juicer at discountjuicers.com, be sure to use the discount code SAVE20 for a $20 discount because you stayed till the end of this video. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with discountjuicers.com. Be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Cole with discountjuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and I know a lot of you guys watching this video right now might be in the market for a juicer. You're shopping for a juicer and you want to get the best one, and thank God you found my videos because I am the juicing expert that's going to share with you guys and show, show you guys actually in the videos 